Hello, welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time, my name is Burak. I am a huge Eurovision fan. I make some reactions, interviews, I'm saying fun in here. Today, we're going to talk about the second song of the Eurovision 2024. It comes from the Czechia. They organize a national selection called ESCZ 2024. And seven songs competed. Aiko won the contest with her song Pedestal. And if I'm not wrong, she got all the international votes. I think she was the top on international voting. Um, it's a positive thing for the Czechia and also Aiko because it means they got all the international fans' attention and it affect the, it can be affect uh, their um, semi-final votes too because you know this year in the semi-final we don't have juries, we just have us. So we're gonna vote and our favorites going to the final directly. So it can be a positive effect to Czechia but before we go to the song and reaction uh, I want to talk about the team too this year, they um, inspired by the Northern Lights. So right now on my background, I tried to create a Northern Lightish background for you, but I think it's kind of dark So right now. I want to share my opinions with you about this situation because I'm a professional designer. So in graphic design right now, I'm working as a visual designer. I have some information about the marketing, I know some design thing, etc. So for my personal opinion, uh, I like to every year changing slogan because for me uh, when they change the slogan and the logo and the colors every year it affects the country's uh, soul it gives the Eurovision a new identity it's my personal opinion but this year we got no logo and no slogan it can be a positive effect I don't know probably they know something and that's why I have decided like that but for my personal opinion I would love to see some um, cultural things on Eurovision too and I like the gradient effect on the you know team. That's why I'm choosing this background right now for you. And I'm talking a lot. So let's go to Aida. It's time for Aiko. Okay, this song is I think pop rock genre. And she ah oh, she is very stylish. I like the different color of on her hair. Um outfit is cool. She had two dancers. She's giving some pop uh, rock moment for us. You know, I don't know when, I don't remember when was the last time we heard uh, this kind of genre in the Eurovision from a female voice. Oh, okay. I love the way of her singing. So, she gave us something to scream on the arena right now. Okay, I can imagine her live performance at the arena. Fans gonna scream with her. Love, that's great. And I love the way of she singing. Love me, love me, love me, love me. She's going deep and high. Yeah, I think Czech Republic, Czechia try always something new for their Eurovision um, stage. And that's how become very successful country in the several years. And at the same time, I will not judge anybody from the Czechia uh, on the national selection with her national selection performance because, for my personal opinion, um, for example, Vesna, they were average for me on the national selection, but when they come to the Eurovision, they improved. I love this part. They improved their vocal ability and they improved their, you know, staging. They give something new. So. Czech team know how to do a great performance and this is a really great I don't know why but I remembered like when I was in teenage when I was in high school this genre was very popular we were listening to this kind of music and she's giving us some moral moves I liked it okay wow you know we Eurovision fans love divas a lot and she gives us some diva movements. Ah, it finished suddenly. Okay, so to be honest, I feel like I cannot say that I got a Eurovision 2024 winner wipe. It will be a lie, but also it's too early because we just know two songs. But I cannot say that this can be a disqualify because, um, for example, last year, uh, in the national selection performance, Vesna was average for me. Uh, they were not in my top 10 too. But after I watched their rehearsal on the Eurovision, on the, you know, Liverpool, I was like, okay, they will be in the final directly because they are doing a great job and they will get really good result. 
if I'm not wrong, they was in top 10. They were in top 10. So this year, Aiko, she already has a lot of potential because she got international fans hard. Um, she's young. Probably she's going to get some Gen Z's vote. I'm saying that because of, you know, after the Zitte Boa and Moneskin, we saw that rock uh, journal lovers also um, Gen Z are voting for their favorite too. So she, probably she will get really, really good votes from them. At the same time, as I said before, I fe I'm feeling like she has a potential. There, they will improve her vocal ability, staging, etc. I quite like it. And, you know, I felt like there was a two girl sisters. What was their name? The Veronicas. The Veronicas, the Australian band sisters. I got their wife from her. So she got a potential to do a really great job. As I said at the beginning, this year on the semifinals, we're gonna vote, not the juries. So if we love her, so she will be in the final. And for my personal opinion, she's gonna be in the final already because she got the international fans heart right now. Guys, these are my first impressions, first opinions about Aiko. What do you think, guys? Do you think that Czechia will be do Czechia will do great in this year? Eurovision or how, what do you think about the Czechia generally? What do you think about the SEC 2024? I would love to hear your opinions and I would love to talk about your opinions too. And guys, the season has started and I need your support. Please don't forget to follow me. And I would love to see you in my next reaction media too. Bye bye.